Internet, Good Gaming here, and today you might notice something different about what you're seeing here. Because today we are on my computer desktop because recently I uploaded a video about shader packs and I thought that was really lame because everyone would want shader packs but then couldn't get them. So today I am going to show you how to get Optifine and then how to install my new favorite shader pack. That, that other one turned out to be lame. So first, to get Optifine, you open up your browser, just search Optifine. I've already got it selected, it's Optifine.net. Then you just go to your downloads. Now, you choose the latest version in, sometimes you have to go to the preview versions to get the latest Minecraft version. Then you just hit download. You wait for this little ad thingy to go away. Deny notifications. Ignore this stuff, that's viruses and junk like that. Then you only click the skip ad up here. This stuff down here is, don't, don't click it, it'll destroy your computer. Skip the ad. Then you hit download preview, or download the folder. Then it says it's going to harm your computer, it's also going to bring you to Roblox for some reason. It'll, it'll say you can harm your computer, nobody cares about that, because it actually doesn't harm your computer. Now you just wait, sometimes this little circle thing stays there for a little bit, you wait for it to finish downloading. If it stays there for too long, just close the browser. Okay, there we go, now it's done. Then you go to your downloads, I have a little Minecraft server here too, but then you just double click on this. Then you choose the new profile for Optifine and say install. I've already got it installed, so I'm not going to do it again. But this is pretty easy. You also need the newest version of Java to install it. Then once you've gotten that, you'll need to run Minecraft with Optifine just once. I've already done that. And then you have to find a f your favorite shader pack. Now, I already have mine, I just, I have mine, I'll show you what it is, shader packs, I've got Trilliton shaders, BSL, and Silder's Vibrant shaders, today I'm going to show you where to get Silder shaders, Silder Vibrant shaders. You can just search this and then it'll come up with this thing right at the top. Then it's going to bring you over to this. Then you can just go to then you can just go to new updates will be available on my own website. We can try going to there. And now this is the official website. Then you can install you have Minecraft opt to find then you get the downloads. You can choose whichever one you like. I've chosen extreme, but some of you with weaker computers might want light, light or medium. And so then you just download it. I'll just get high. Takes you back to the ad fly website. Nine notifications. Ignore anything down here. Just wait for this to pop up. Skip ad. Then you can close this, wait a little bit for it to move on. Then you just click download. Then it downloads, don't need any of this anymore. Now you find it in your downloads. Here's your shader pack. Then what you do is you press Windows and R key at the same time. Then in this little box here, type percent app data percent percent not dollar sign percent remember to type exactly this in if you don't do the percents it won't work then you hit enter and it brings you up to something that looks like this you should have a dot minecraft folder open this up go to your shader packs and just move this into there I'm not gonna do it because I've already got it I've already got a different version then once that's done you have to open up your minecraft and choose the Optifine <laughs> choose the little Optifine runner thing. You might have to go to launch options and enable snapshots and stuff like that. 
then you just hit play. Wait for it to load. Once Minecraft comes up, once Minecraft eventually comes up, loads. Which it's taking a very long time. You won't see anything different here, but when you go to options and video settings, all this stuff is going to be really different. You can, for Optifine, you can mess around with all these settings, and also you can put your render distance way up. I don't have it up because I use shader packs. You don't want it. You don't want to have far render distance with shader packs. You just go to your shaders, select the shader you want, and then hit done. Now your shader pack is complete. You can play with it. You can do whatever you want with it. It's really cool. Then if you want to turn it off, you go back to your options into shaders and click internal or off. I usually use internal. And for this shader, Sildur's Vibrant Shaders, there's a lot of different things you can do in the shader options. You can do, my favorite things are, my favorite settings are in emissive light where you can change the color quality of the light. Normally it's a really red, warm light, but I've set it so that it's more bright. You can choose, turn on waving objects and stuff like that. Shadows, I've turned them off because I, I like having the high quality thing, but I don't care about shadows, and it puts my FPS up. Sky and lighting, you can turn different things off. God rays can be on, actually. White world makes the ground white mostly used for debugging. Just lots of different settings in here. You can change these. This, this affects the shader and shadows and stuff like that. Now you've finished installing your shader pack and Optifine, and your Minecraft is newly uh, good looking. I don't know. Your Minecraft is newly amazing because shader packs are cool. That's all I have time for today. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more like this, and I'll see you in the next video.